Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Uh, new HD camera to show you today, which you might have already guessed. Oh, Mad Mac! Finally got the video done. It's alright, inside joke, I've been telling him about this camera for bloody ages and I haven't been able to get the video, but there you go then, Mad Mac. We finally got it done today. Right then, uh, it's a new quad cam. Alright, like the Mobius and the run camera stuff, and I did one not too long ago, a few weeks, uh, two or three weeks ago, I think it was, the uh, SQ12 or the QS12 or whatever, <laughs> I can't bloody remember now, but that, that was a good cam, and, uh, but I've been waiting for this particular one, because I need it for a particular quad, which I'm not going to tell you about yet, because that hasn't come yet. But uh, hopefully that'll be here in a couple of days. But uh, yeah, but I'm going to show you this cam anyhow. So before I waffle and take you to the bench and stuff, let's just jump straight to some flight footage. Then the first bit in 720p, the next bit in 1080p. And like a lot of cheap cameras, there's not a lot of difference in it. You can't, not a lot of difference. Now I've watched the videos back, I'll say this though. Try not to concentrate too much on the sky because the colour changes in the sky, it don't pick them up too well it goes a bit white, a bit bright but if you look at the grass and the trees and the horizon it's a pretty good quality uh, image actually and I reckon on a bright sunny day, a nice day which I should have waited for a few more days but whatever I reckon it'll be uh, bloody great right I'll get this out the road before I jump to the video. Unfortunately, the sound quality ain't great. I'm not going to lie to you. The sound quality ain't brilliant, right? So I've skipped the sound, knocked it off as I usually do anyhow, and just a little bit of background music. So anyhow, let's jump straight to the uh, flight footage, and then when you come back, we'll have a look at the camera and everything. And I'll show you how it's mounted on the quad that I used it on. And I didn't mount it on tight, and there's no jello in the video. It's bloody good for jello, as in not producing jello. Anyhow, here's the flights. pilots and ground crew I've left it on the quad just for a second just so I can show you you notice I mentioned and you'd have seen there's no jello and it's not as if this is fastened on tight look all I've got is a zip tie going round because this isn't really the ideal uh, well position for this frame but you can see it's not as if it's tight on there so if I just cut that zip tie off now take that off there Coming out. Right, just move my quad out the road, that one. If I turn it on its side, first of all, to show you, you can have a better look that way. It comes with this uh, mounting case, which you, oh, you, you also get quite a few more accessories. You get like the old GoPro style mount, you know what I mean? And you get this little connector that you connect underneath to the frame. And then you can screw it on like the old GoPro style. That's if you want to do that, but uh, that's up to you. Uh, I'll just say straight away, when the SD card is in the actual camera, the mount actually stops the SD card from coming out in a crash. It just covers it there. 
I don't know if you can actually see that. Well, you should be able to. The SD card is just the edge of it is just covered by the mount itself. If I try and zoom in a bit more, you might see a bit better there. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, two buttons you can get access to on the mount, and well, the camera's in there now. If we, it's locked in tight. That camera is locked in there tight, but you basically just pull slightly on the edges and push from the back and you can see it's tight so it's not going to fly out. It's a bit fiddly but you don't, there you go, you don't want it to be loose and it just fly out your bloody quad. Yeah, uh, just a case, now special there. Uh, I suppose the, there is one downside. I'll just come out. Whoa, I'll just come out a bit more. I suppose there is one downside. I haven't seen any of these replacement cases anywhere, but I'm sure you'll be able to get them from somewhere, or if you've got a 3D printer, print your own. But they're pretty strong, so they'll probably last in any major big crashes. But if it did break, like I say, I ain't been able to find uh, a replacement case. But at the same time, it might not ever break the bloody strong it is. Right, let's take a look at the camera then. The Firefly, Hawkeye, whatever it's bloody called. As I said, the sound isn't brilliant. But the picture image is quite impressive, I think. Like I said, the clouds and stuff weren't great. But if you f did focus in on the... Uh, the grass and stuff, you could see the colouring was pretty damn good and I hadn't messed about with a video out like that and it's real simple to use as well as I look at it to the right as you look at it to the left there's two buttons, if you press and hold the button on the right which is the power button hold it until a little light comes on and now you're in 720p mode and to start recording, all you do is press the button. There you go, and the light starts flashing and you're recording in 720p mode. Press it again and stop. If I want to switch to 1080p mode, I press the button on the left. And now we've switched to 1080p mode, press the power button again. The light starts flashing and we're recording. Press the power button and stop. To turn it off, just hold the power button until the light goes off. About five seconds, there you go. And it's off. It's as simple as that. Your SD card goes, pushes in at the side. You'll never have to take it out again unless you decide to change it. Because it comes with a USB cable, which is over there somewhere. All right, and you just plug your USB cable in, plug it straight into the computer and download your files there's no messing about at all right it really is that straightforward there's a little clip there if you uh, want to put a zip tie or whatever on if you don't want to use the mount right for argument's sake if i was going to use it with this quad which i am not i would mount it on there and maybe put a little zip tie just to hold it in place but i'm not using it on this quad i didn't get it for that one but yeah, I suppose that's all I can really say. The, I'll leave links in the description where to get one from. Uh, I got this one from banggood.com. I'll leave a bit of information about it in the description. But if you, uh, even if you decide to get one from somewhere else or whatever, if you click on the Banggood link, it'll take you straight to the camera. And if you scroll down, there's loads of information about the camera. Lots and lots. Because it, it, it does quite a few different bits and pieces, so to speak. Listen. I don't know if you heard that click, but it clicks into place and now it's locked in quite tight again. And the good thing is, if you're happy uh, leaving it in the case, you never have to. You can have that mounted to your quad. You can have it all fastened in really tight. And like I say, you just plug your USB cable in to download your files. For charging... Charging is as simple as hell. Plug your USB cable in again, plug it into your computer, and it'll start charging. Uh, you can, if you want to, hang on, 
I'm just reaching for a plug. You can get one of these uh, little plugs and uh, just plug it straight into your wall socket because uh, you don't have to worry about it overcharging or out because not many people realise but these USB cables they actually uh, change your voltage down to 5 volts so if you've got something plugged into the wall right you don't have to think oh 240 volts I'll blow it well no the USB cable has, uh, eliminates it down to uh, reduces it down to 5 volts so you, you can basically plug anything in but yeah, so you can use a plug like that or plug it straight into your computer to charge up. You get a nice set of instructions. Now, I'll give you a laugh. I ain't got a bleeding clue where they are. I got this a few days ago. I've messed about with it, played with it uh, in-house, but I've only just managed to get out and have a flight with it. I went out the other day to have a flight with it, but my bleeding transmitter bust. If you saw a previous video, how to repair it, the switch, you'll know why I couldn't get a flight in then. And uh, then the other day after that, it was chucking it down or whatever. But basically, I just managed to get out today. It was a bit dull. Right? There was a couple of breaks in the cloud, but uh, like I say, I managed to get out. So here's the review. But yeah, the Firefly or the uh, Hawkeye or whatever you want to call it. It comes in a nice little, well, it comes in a very basic box actually. I would have thought that I've spent a bit of time and made the box a bit nicer because the box, to be honest, the box is crap. But you get everything you need in there. And as I said, the instructions, they are pretty good. The instructions are pretty good, but I can't show you them because I ain't got a bleeding clue where I put the bloody things. All I did was have a look how to turn it on, turn it off, how to charge it, and that was it. That's all I was interested in. I put the thing down, and I can't find it anywhere. I found instructions for everything else, though. I found instructions for stuff I wasn't looking for. But there you go, then, pilots and ground crew. And a Firefly HD action cam for quads. And, okay, once again, it's not a GoPro killer, but... Uh, the uh, the GoPro 5, the uh, the cube, that's going out the window. They stopped making them. They're not going to make any more GoPro. So if you're after something small, okay, they're still the Foxy. But uh, if you're after something small, this is bloody good. I'm quite impressed with this. But uh, I may even get another one for uh, something else. But there you go then, uh, you've had a look, you've seen a bit of the flight footage, I've talked you through how to turn it on, turn it off, there's no else I can really say. Link's in the description, go to the, uh, the site, have a look, there's plenty of information on there. But uh, yeah, so, hope you enjoyed the video, if you like, subscribe, leave thumbs up, leave thumbs down, do whatever you bloody like. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, cheers!